new week, new arena and new arena guide for the newest arena of Konosuba Fantasy Days Global Version where we fight the Light Blood Fang. To be honest, there is not something you need to care about besides that he takes reduced damage from magical attacks, which of course makes a lot of sense with the two recent darkness that we've gotten being physical units, so you just wanna watch out and use physical units. Which is actually pretty hard because the amount of physical units we have right now is pretty limited, but I came up with an idea for my team. And I came up with an idea for what your team could look like if you have the corresponding units. First up, let's take a quick look at my team, which is this one. We're starting off with Forbidden Mimi, no one's surprised, you just want to get her to old ASAP, aka preferably before the boss casts magic attack uh, damage reduction, uh, even if it, he casts it, uh, ulti damage is not dark, so doesn't matter too much, but you kind of hope that you can do it. Then I use, since I don't have the new Nurse Erika, I use the School Erika. She still has a tier 1 speed boost, she still has a tier 1 rush red. <clears throat> Both is AoE, so of course she will do way less damage than the other Erika, but this is the best I have. And last but not least, I luckily have the new Leah, so I can use her with a slot for Overlord Kazuma. And this is the only unit I'm not really so sure about because I was really, <clears throat> really long thinking about which unit you could use as a buffer for your team. And I couldn't come up with what the hell we use in the JP version until I looked for the arena guide video and I found this here. The call up Chris that we don't have was the buffer back then. The only other buffer that I can think of is Christmas Lolisa, which I also don't have, so, you know, I need to live without a proper buffer. I'm not sure how good this will go, but this is what I'm going to try for day one. I can still pivot and use my ticket for Lolisa or see what other units uh, are getting used. But this is the team that I have here for day one. The Gacha from Erika will help Leah to get her ulti off most of the time which should help with the cooldowns of your team. Kazuma also has bonus CDR, so hopefully it should at least mean we can spam our skills and maybe get proper uh, skills in before the bus turn out and stuff like that. That is my current hope that that is how the team works. Replacements here are pretty obvious. If you don't use, don't have the Megumin, don't use her. I don't think there's any good replacement here. You could maybe use the um, Bikini Megumin for help with wave clear and then just explode. I just don't think it's worth it, to be honest. So just don't do it and ignore her. Just put slot three, uh, four unit into slot three and move the others up. If you don't have this Erika again, the new Erika is there, you can use her. If you have neither of those, it actually gets pretty hard. I'm not so sure what you can use there. Maybe actually just use, um, either an off-rate rush red unit so for example um you could use i don't know swimsuit lulisa for example to provide the buffing capabilities and the rush red then you need someone else to provide speed boost but for example we have the anniversary arc for that so you could maybe make a team with an off-rate there if you don't have this leah there is the uh the, the idle leah dark unit as well that you can potentially use to provide some rush red for the team I am not so sure how good this really is, but it can be workable. And again, for Kazuma, I just mentioned units that you can use in his place, aka Halloween, uh, Christmas, Lolisa, or just worst case off raid units. Maybe you fast are quite good work here, not gonna lie. Um, there's also shout outs to, as I said it before, the Anniversary Aqua, third Anniversary. She has a tier 2 speed boost, she has a dark damage boost. She can't buff, but you know, tier 2 speed boost is still really valuable to have. The dark boost can also work really well, especially since it's normal dark boost and Leah has EX dark boost, so they can stack as well. And yeah, I think this is pretty much all the meaningful units. If you don't have the Kameko here as the trade unit, there is the Bikini Megumin that you can use for 3% dark damage boost, 3% magical attack damage boost. 
you can use any of the 3% physical attack damage boosting units like um, Casino Melissa or I think there's another one I just can't remember it but yeah it just just use something like that if you really have need of those just use the normal physical attack boost for 2% with that out of the way let's jump into this arena run okay let's see how good this team really works because I'm not so sure Yeah, I think. Wanna use that here first? Oh, barely didn't kill. Okay. Then give Erika a kill here. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, okay. Probably should have used the air assist earlier, but whatever. And gets used all team. Maybe you can actually get away without using air assist here and wait for your slot for you to come in for use air assist, but you know I just did what I thought was the best here, so let's wait. So we can actually loop the dark damage boost, that's pretty cool. Okay, at least the skill spamming seems to work pretty decent, not gonna lie. And for all the people who ask why I'm pausing, this is not to cheat, this is not to get any advantage, it's just to press skills more quickly. Like, I can just pause here, see, okay, this skill is ready. I can just press it instantly, pause here to see, okay, that skill is ready. Press it here, I see the skill is not ready. So I can wait. For this. Over here, press auto to enable Kazuma skill. So not a snipe. Good, 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 good. Now the dark damage boost ran out from Leah here. Kind of sad. いい気にな。かんねんしてね。かんまいこ攻撃。Maybe I could actually go with more damage for some units here. Soy. <laughs> Yeah. 1.3 mil not really amazing but i don't think it's bad per se 
can be a lot of fire especially if you have the proper units i think like i i expect people to get at least two mil with the other erika and if you have lisa as buffer probably even more so yeah it's not the best score but for not having two of the units that i'm missing i think this is still pretty pretty solid you can see the team distribution you see Mega means damage is not that crazy, so it's not really that important. Kazuma did some pretty good damage. My Erika, of course, did really bad damage, but that was to expect it. But yeah, um, that is a team you can potentially run. Again, more teams will be visible tomorrow, so stay tuned for those. And if I have an updated team, I will post it in my YouTube community tab or my Discord. So make sure to follow there, check them out, and you are always up to date. With that other way, thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.